Hello there, this is Magenta Pixie speaking. Um, for the last couple of weeks, and very much so in the last four or five days, I've received quite a lot of emails and messages on social media saying similar things, such as, um, Magenta, I've just read that this thing is going to happen, or they want to do this, or their agenda is to do that. And they're very shocked and they can't believe that this particular agenda um, could be real or um, they are concerned about what they would do if this happens. Um, so multiple different agendas, uh, lots of emails and messages, especially over the last week, um, with individuals who are quite fearful and asking if this is true and... If so, what can they do about it? So rather than answering all these messages individually, um, I wrote uh, a post up on my social media and I would like to read that post to you now. Lots of people are messaging me with deep concern, fear, and sometimes panic regarding all sorts of nefarious agendas that they have heard are taking place. And they're asking for confirmation that this particular agenda is true, whatever it may be. And they're asking for guidance and reassurance. So let me just say again that while the agendas are indeed nefarious, what they intend to do and what they actually will be able to do are two different things. They work magically in order to manifest their visions of these agendas. And one way they do this is to leak their plans into the public consciousness, mostly in the truth and spiritual communities, and feed on your fear with the aim that your collective fear and panic, resistance, about said agenda will manifest it for them. When you get yourself all worked up and frantically message me saying, Magenta, what can we do about this? You not only play into their hands, but at the same time you relinquish your own power simply by the virtue of your belief that I, or anyone outside of yourself, can solve this reality dilemma for you. We are each here to experience this reality as it currently presents itself. And whilst it is most natural to ask for guidance and information, to do so in such a fearful, disempowered state, whilst totally understandable, places you in a saviour victim template with the person you have contacted, whether that be myself or whoever it may be. The guidance you are looking for is always within you. You know how this journey will play out. You've seen it unfold many times. Yes, it's always unique, but it always holds the same solutions to the nefarious agendas. And those solutions are unity with your fellow man. It cannot work any other way. Unity with your fellow man. How this actually manifests is not known within the third dimensional formation, for it occurs in real time. All the blueprints are hidden from the human collective as idea and thought, so as to shield from the dark structure who would seek to destroy it. So I'll say that again, all blueprints are hidden from the human collective as idea and thought, so as to shield from the dark structure who would seek to destroy it. This we are calling New Earth. So I would say to anyone struggling with fear and panic of these nefarious agendas that are just around the corner, to have faith in the New Earth structure. Now, I know that that's a challenge, to have faith in something you cannot tangibly see, but this is what we are being called to do. For our faith, 
based on knowing, not blind faith, our faith holds the codes for the new earth creations. It's equally as important to research and visualize and nurture the new earth reality as it is to know and be aware of the nefarious agendas. One needs to be able to access both of these potential playouts in order to traverse the landscape that is pre-manifestation. Then one will recognize the New Earth Unity programs when they present themselves. Just like the lift or elevator, as it's spoken in America, it is equally as important to visit the basement and the skyline rooftops. Know your landscape. Becoming fixated on one particular nefarious agenda narrows your vision. You stay only on one floor within that building when you have access to all the floors. Take a step back and see the greater picture. Yes, the dark agendas are most insidious against humanity and most cruel and are crimes of the highest degree. But you do not have to place yourself as victim to these agendas through fears and calling out for help to another in a disempowered, frantic, emotionally distorted way. Stand strong and communicate with others. Your balanced communication is the seed to the unity and the creation of new earth consciousness. The guidance you seek from me specifically, or rather from the White Winged Collective Consciousness of Nine, has been delivered to you ahead of time over the last 14 years. The guidance has been delivered in the form of videos and books, and most recently fiction, just as this post is fiction, poetry and storytelling. The codes you need to trigger your own intrinsic knowing regarding all the questions you have regarding our unfolding future reality and all the nefarious agendas as to whether they're real or not real, how they would manifest, how it would affect you. All of the knowing of that is, is there within those codes that are given to you within that body of work that I have produced over the last 14 years with my work with the nine and indeed, they can be found in other places too, from other teachers, other speakers, other storytellers. When you go into fear and panic because of the latest agenda you've heard about, that may or may not be an actual agenda, you lose the higher focus and you cut yourself off, albeit temporarily, from receiving those crucial truth codes. For me specifically, the response is the same to each and every nefarious agenda, whether it's their actual intention or not. Your fear only serves their cause. What you see is part of only one aspect to reality. And bringing their agendas into actual fruition is going to be extremely difficult for them with opposition every step of the way, as more and more people awaken within all systems, legal, health, religious, etc. The reality is bifurcated and in truth trifurcated. You will always be able to navigate through if you hold the peace, knowing and truth of the new earth 5D reality and do not identify with the lower old earth timeline and the nefarious agendas at play. Observe and bear witness is all you are called upon to do at this time. So indeed, do not ignore, do not turn the other cheek. Delve deep into the dark agendas as much as you please. You offer no sustenance to their realization when you simply bear witness and do not identify. The questions you are asking have been answered within this response wishing you blessings, wellness and joy. So that was the post I posted up on social media, but I'd just like to add one more thing about fear. So as I've said before, there is nothing wrong with feeling fear. It is quite normal given the situation we are in. The issue is what we do with the fear. 
if we identify with that fear and allow it to consume us and react and, and move into this frantic panic and this distorted uh, presentation of emotion that comes with that, and we say things like, is this true? How can this possibly be real? This is awful. What can we do? What can we do? Please, please help us. Please give us guidance. What you are saying to the universe is, I can't deal with this. I don't have the power to deal with this. I need to ask someone else, someone like Magenta Pixie or some other spiritual teacher or, or truth leader or whatever it may be. I have to put my power in someone else because they have the answers. I don't have the answers. That's what you're saying to the universe. And this is all completely understandable. The way to move through this is not to not feel the fear. Feel fear. And when you feel that fear by looking at this particular agenda that you've read about or heard about, you say to yourself, I'm feeling fear at this right now. Why is that? Let's look at why that fear is there. And it may be that you decide that the fear is there because this information you've been given about this potential play out is disinformation or false. Because you've taken a calm, collected look, You're, you can access your discernment so much easier or you might decide to yourself, the reason why I'm feeling fear is this is a message to tell me that I have come across something that I feel is accurate and that this is an accurate agenda. This is what they want to do. This is what they are trying to do. They're putting steps in place now to bring this into fruition. So whichever answer you come up with within, or you may come up with neither of those answers, you are still saying to yourself, why is this fear here? What is it there for? It's there as a message because this particular agenda, whether it's true or false, is a nefarious agenda. It is out of alignment with what is loving and true and organic and good. Now, if you are someone who hasn't really been able to look at that side of reality before, the nefarious side of reality, if you're someone who has turned the other cheek, then this will be coming into your reality to show you that there's a whole other area of reality that you haven't looked at. And you are not in a state of balance if you have only looked at the light and the love and the goodness. One has to see everything. So if you can go through the reasons why your fear is there and work through and integrate that fear, then that is the process. So it's not fear itself that is wrong. And I'm just putting that in because I know that there are many spiritual teachers out there who suggest that feeling fear in the first place is a failure in some way within your spiritual path. And that's simply not true. If you want more information about how to integrate these fears, then this is discussed in depth in my first book, Masters of the Matrix. So that was my post on social media a few days ago, and I would just like to say thank you very much for listening. Bye.